Hey guys, this is a video to hopefully clear up some questions on that infamous Kate Stall Chaser. It looks like this. And it's really simple. It takes a little while to get. It does have some different feelings to it than other stuff. But uh, once you get it, it'll click. And it's really easy to do. So let's take a look at what it is. Um, it's not too different from your basic Stall Chaser or other Stall Chaser variations. Um, so let's start out with the basic stall chaser, this puppy right here. Um, I start on my right side. So I start right and go to left. It doesn't matter whichever side you want to start on works. I just like to start on the right side. So we're going to do our stall chaser. Uh, left poi is leading, right poi is chasing. And normally your stall chaser would go whoop and you would do the stall, right? <laughs> and get that stall to chase. But instead of stalling up, we're just going to let it continue to make a circle. So we're going to do like that. Really simple. Okay. Now, with this circle, what we're going to do is we're going to, when the poi head is at the top, we're going to let it break out and fly over to the other side. We want it to come behind the other poi, all right? It's going to be resting across the top like this. So it's going to look like this. Okay. Now, while we're bringing this poi over, we've got to bring this one over to the other side as well. And that's where you get um, that. So basically, I like to think of it um, as you've got one head, like the head of this poi is going this way, and you're pulling the opposite way with your handle. So it goes boom, like that. And you want to try and cross them uh, evenly in front of you so they line up. And that kind of gives it that extra bit of illusion right there. So, and it's kind of like, um, let's see, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. Um, or at least it feels that way to me. So, so far we've got go into a normal stall chaser. This one is going to be circling. Uh, you know, you'll just let it do like one circle before you bring it over. And at the same time, you're pulling this poi by its handle. So it's kind of weird because one is being pulled by the head and one is being pulled by the handle. And that's what makes it look so cool because they're like complete opposites. So, so far, we're here, okay? Now, once we get through that, we're going to end up here with our arms crossed, you're going to want to stall your right poi down and let your left poi just keep spinning. Just keep spinning, just keep spinning. So we're here. Ooh. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is the spinning poi is going to come under and on top. So let me do that in one move. It's going to go like that. So you bring your arm, your left arm from underneath your right arm, and you're going to bring it over, and you're going to do a butt to butt uh, stall chaser there. So it's going to look like this. So essentially, you're doing the same stall chaser that you did in the beginning, just with your arms crossed, right? So one, two, one, and then to finish off the move, again, we do that head coming over, handle coming over thing. So it's going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And this is where you really start to see that push pull effect. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. So I hope that helps smooth out some things. If there are any more questions, let me know. Um, maybe, I don't know, side angles. <laughs> so you can see what's in front and what's behind, because it does switch. It kind of has like a thread the needle type effect. And again from the front. So yeah, hope that's helpful. Have fun.